Rich Side Canine, early morning, showing up on this beautiful farm in Round Hill to pick up a black Russian Terrier. And I can see the 140 pound dog right there coming at me to the left. It's got some aggression issues. We'll get it all under check, get it all under control. Looks like the kids let the dog out by accident. Here comes dad running outside. I know that dog better not jump on his van. <laughs> he gonna see the dark side of Rich Side. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm being serious. Anyway, all right, guys, let's get this taken care of. All right, Rich Side, we just left Round Hill, and we are pulling up to Percival. And uh, look at all these vans, man. There's like a goddamn moving company out here. It's actually training Nicole's house. Tyler's over here. I got to come through. I'm owed some money right now. I got to pick up money. I'm a tax man. Watch this. I'll show you how we do this. What's up, Bob? Tax man here to collect. I'm about to pay me. What's up, homie? Yeah. How are you? 10 days late. Oh my God. You want to see a black Russian Terrier? Yeah. Man, you got no makeup on the day. Uh-uh, I'm looking rough. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> I'm looking better. I'm typing up some six. Say hello. Say Hi. hello to everybody. Yeah, they're going to see you. All right, guys. Turn left onto Sarit Way. We are out of Percival and down in Sterling. Countryside neighborhood off Spotswood Road. Got to do a follow-up real quick. Take care of some stuff and uh, make this happen. Not really so sure. You know, I used to work this area for a while, man, and I know this area like the back of my hand. What are you doing in the woods over there, homie? That's kind of strange. That would be an immediate jump out of the vehicle if I was in a patrol car and see what you're doing in the woods because you look a little under the influence. Anyway, um, take care of this, and then we're back on the road. All right, we are back here in the neighborhood now, so take care of this quick follow-up. We turn left here. Should turn right. Should be one of these townhouses on the right block. Pretty sure. Turn right to stay on there we go. Then you're Here we go. We are far outside of Sterling right now, baby. Deep down off Route 95, Central Park. Head down here. Meet up with Ariel for a minute in Fredericksburg. We cover some miles, man. Anyway, got some dogs in the back. Come down Continue here. Continue for two miles. There you go. Continue for two miles. And uh, I don't come to Fredericksburg often, but we cover this area routinely. We have trainers down here. Um, you guys know Danny lives down here. You guys know Ariel lives down here. And uh, nice little town, man. A lot going on down here. Anyway, just another stop. That's what we do all day. Whew. Covering some miles, boy. We, uh, Will used to always say those rich side miles. And um, those rich side miles have claimed a few lives by this point, I think. Anyway. Rich side miles, baby. They add up quick. Look at this. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. <laughs> look at this old English Mastiff right here. Boy, you should be in the back of my van looking all good like that. It's actually hella dangerous. I don't mind it like in the country, man, where I'm at, but out here, you're right off of Route 95. We are actually on a six-lane highway right now um, on both sides. You're just asking for an accident to happen. But in all reality, man, that dog is very well cared for. Looks like an older dog. Coat looks good. Hips look good. But uh, accidents can happen quick, man. Somebody hits him, the dog's dead for sure and uh abrupt evasive driving to avoid an accident the dog's gonna fly out for sure so people always say like it will never happen it could never happen like i always say it's all good till it's not and a little swerve of that truck that super duty a little swerve left a little swerve right that little mastiff and he's driving kind of aggressive too which is very stupid like if he does all that just to pass and get back over um i mean look at that that's stupid so i'll, I'll come out and say that's just stupid so he's driving like that. Look at him shifting lanes again. Up now, I'm gonna have to go up here and smack this idiot. That pisses me off, to be honest with you. It really does. Swerving lanes with a dog in the back. Total foolishness. If anybody knows that clown, Ford F250, big old Brindle English Mastiff, tell him to come find me. Shifting lanes again. Yep, he deserves to get smacked. And that's it. It's about uh, let's see here. Whoa, I'm about to hit the side of the road. 8:56 at night, guys. And I've been going all day, man, and I'm not home, but I'm about a mile from my house now. And uh, that's what it takes, man. That small business daily, seven days a week, running. And uh, can't complain about it. We're blessed to have the little bit of work we still have to stay busy during these hard times. But that's what it's about, and that's what breaks most. That's what pushes most away. That's what shuts down most. It's behind the scenes, running dog training, it's a lot of work. It's all day. It's every day. It's seven days a week. Sometimes it's 16 hours a day. 
not if you're just doing one dog here, one dog there, yada yada. But if you're running a legitimate rocking and rolling dog training business, it ain't fun. It is all work. It's hard work. It's long work. And that's just the reality of, man, you got to have internal drive and just you got to do it because you truly believe in it. You truly want to do it. Otherwise, you'll be a statistic. You'll get out of it just like most people do.